See, old Nancy, and I do mean old, is playing coy here. Her radical self is shrouded by fellow radical congressmen and women who will chair various committees. And these committee chairs have their sights set on one thing, President Trump. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry Pelosi says she's going to leave the investigations up to the committees. Well, that's true to a certain degree, but the committee chairs have already been given their marching orders, and the marching orders are, we've heard Maxine Waters, we've heard Adam Schiff, we've heard that radical from New York on the Judiciary Committee, we know what they're going to do. Yeah, the last person you were referring to is Jerome Nadler, and he may be the worst of them all. This speech was so comical, it would be amusing uh, if it wasn't so sad, Graham. Uh, she made a speech about integrity, about transparency, about the little person. Here's a woman that may be worth as much as $196 million. She's doubled her net worth in her three decades in Congress, which is really amazing since she makes $196,000 a year. And she's the spokesman for the little person in Congress. <laughs> this is the woman that made famous. Uh, if you want to know what's in it, you have to vote for it when she introduced Obamacare in the middle of the night and made everyone vote on the spot and nobody had read it. Right. And she loves James Comey, by the way. And James Comey <laughs> is out there now trying to squash a congressional subpoena. The Judiciary Committee in lame duck wants to hear from him on Monday, and he's got a multitude of excuses. He's, he's brought to federal court to try and get him out of testifying before the United States Congress. And a most, among the most egregious to me is harassing the witness for him to do his constitutional duty. What I am most afraid of is the truth that I'm about to tell you doesn't get out, and that is the following, Graham. He does not want to testify in private he wants to testify in public. And the reason is he wants the witnesses that come after him to know what he said so they can all get on the same page. The Judiciary Committee has said they will release the full transcript of everything he says. And for him to go to court and say it'll be mischaracterized is not only disingenuous, it's a flat out lie. Graham, the reason why he doesn't want to testify in private is that no one else will be tipped off what he said. And guess what, Graham? They might tell a different story. And when those three or four stories get compared, there's going to be an investigation and then he won't be able to hide anymore. Right. We won't even need Robert Mueller to figure out whether someone's committed perjury or not. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Now, conservative exactly. uh, activist uh, Laura Loomer has apparently been banned from Twitter, um, but she made a statement this week uh, after being banned. And, you know, she has the right. She has a First Amendment right to push back on these people. Yeah, Laura makes a great point. She's a friend of American Truth Project. We support what she does, as all freedom loving people should. The irony here is that you can say, I want to kill President Trump, and you stay on Twitter. You can say, I want to kill all the Jews in Israel, and you stay on Twitter. You can say uh, pro-Nazi things or uh, anti-Semitic or anti uh U.S. government things, and you stay on and have a huge following. Laura Loomer literally just quoted the new congresswoman who happens to be Muslim from Minnesota and got banned for life with no appeal. Why? Because it's not progressive to say something negative, even if it's a quote from a congresswoman. And if you happen to be Jewish and a conservative, there is no appeal. So she went to New York, she changed herself to the front door of Twitter, and she made a speech about it. And here's the real wild part. Jack Dorsey is the CEO of Twitter. He owns less stock than Saudi Arabia does in his own company. So if you want to know where the narrative is coming from, Graham, look at the shareholders in Twitter. They're not American, at least not the Saudi ones, and they have a narrative that they're pushing out. You want to have a lot of followers and never have a ban problem? Talk how great Saudi Arabia is. You want to support President Trump or anything conservative? You're on thin ice. Yeah. And the list of conservatives that have been banned from Twitter is a long one, Graham, and it's growing every day. And don't say anything bad about a, a Muslim a member of Congress, otherwise you'll get banned, apparently. And it's another reminder, Barry, that uh, there are no First Amendment rights. There are no free speech rights. 
uh, with Twitter in the end because it is a private company. And that's what we have to deal with. Barry, thank you. Mm.